Listen, you hear that? What is going on everybody? Easy Drummer here. Today I'm going to bring you a video on how to complete the main infection easter egg also known as meat is murder. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the sewers opened up. And we're going to be looking for a bunch of valves. We're going to need four different valves. They spawn randomly and can be found anywhere in the sewer. So what you're going to be looking for is the yellow pipes with the coupling on it and you're going to be looking for the ones that have the round circular valve. As you can see right there, I uh, hit the valve, it turns and then steam starts to spew out of it. So you're going to find all four uh, locations for these valves. Now if I remember correctly, there's 31 possible locations. So look in the description, I might have a video later to show where all those possible locations are. Once you find the last one, this door will open just to the left here. You'll see the, the waterfall secret passage. And now we're going to be going to get the golden skillet. You'll find this in the horde moor up on the beam. You just have to get the exosuit and jump up and use the action button to grab it. We're going to take that back down to the secret room and place it on the pedestal that will lower down into the pool of blood. As you see under the grate, that's all full of blood. We're going to need to kill zombies in this area and fill that whole vessel up with blood. I highly recommend nano swarms because it seems to me that you want to drain the zombies of all their energy and kill them rather than just killing them with an insta-kill or one-hit uh, demise. This way you get more blood, it fills up faster, and that just seems to work best for me. So again, I highly recommend the nano swarms. They work a lot better than the distractions. So we're going to go ahead and train up all the zombies, run them down here, hit some nano swarms. And as the blood pool fills all the way to the top, you will see that the, uh, the pedestal rises back up and our skillet is now nice and seasoned. So we're going to pick that back up and off to Burger Town. We're going to place the seasoned skillet on the stove in the Burger Town kitchen. So now we're going to be looking for pieces of meat. There's going to be one piece of meat in each the Burger Town Atlas Command uh, value voltage and the sewers. As you can see I picked up a piece of meat there. It's a red little glowing blackish glob of goo and you go and you place it back on the skillet. Now again just like the valves they can be spawning randomly in these areas. There's a lot of different locations. Some of these locations have up to 10 possible places that the meat could be. So you're gonna be looking around for meat for a while. And again, look down in the description. I'm gonna post some uh, links there to some other videos that show you all the possible meat locations. Uh, just to make this video a little bit shorter, I'm just showing you where I found them at. And once you get the last piece of meat, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have the Magnetron, the new wonder weapon for the infection map. As you see right there, I pull it out of the 3D printer. We're gonna grab that Magnetron and you guessed it, we're heading back to Burger Town. We're gonna place the last piece of meat and it's gonna turn in our, into a little patty there and we're gonna cook it. And you just keep holding down the trigger until you hear the ding sound and you'll see the fire and the smoke and you'll know that that step is complete. Now we need to be looking for the bun. One of the Burger Town employee zombies will be carrying the bun. Again, Nano Swarms helps a lot to go ahead and pile these zombies up. As you can see right there, the bun drops on the ground, it's floating, and you just run over it to pick it up. You're gonna go ahead and drop that bun onto the patty. It's gonna make a burger. And just turn around and go back and grab the burger. Now the burger is infected, so it's gonna make you infected. So what you need to do is uh, run as quickly as you can down to the decontamination zone and go ahead and disinfect yourself and the burger. The burger will then turn a little more brownish than green and you can head it back to Burger Town. We're gonna to feed the burger to Bubby. He's gonna rub his belly and tell us that he needs his battery charge. So we're gonna to run to Atlas Command hit this screen with the action button right in the middle. You hear a little bit of a buzzing sound and then quickly run over here by the generator to grab the battery out of the little package on the wall. You have to do that really quickly or it may close, so just do it again. Then we're gonna take the battery over here to value voltage and we're gonna plug it into the gas pump there and it's gonna charge. Now if the zombies knock it out, as you see just happened to me, just go ahead and put it back in and the charging process will go ahead and continue. So I recommend doing this at the end of a round when you have just a couple of zombies chasing you. You can train around waiting for it to charge. As soon as the battery charges, it'll be red. And pick that up and take it over to Bubby, where he will give you the white key. 
This key is going to gain you access to the big burger at the top of the Burger Town sign. You want to access this area and hit the screen, making sure that it says access denied. Then go ahead and jump out or be ejected and run down to the sewers where we're going to get the zombie hand out of the instigator's belly. Now I like to use the cauterizer and shoot the instigator right off the spawn. I'm going to show you in slow motion there. You see the zombie hand floating within the debris of the alligator. Now the one thing that I learned on this, see I, I missed it. I didn't see the uh, hand was still inside that piece of the alligator there. Um, you actually have to hold the action button to pick up the zombie hand and you want to do it pretty quickly because it will sink under the water and once that happens it will disappear and you'll have to do this step again. So I'm going to run over here. You see the zombie hand floating just above the water. I'm going to pick that up. We're going to take it over to Horde Moor because the owner of Horde Moor is the owner of the alligator that bit off his hand. So we're going to take this over to the safe here in the corner of Horde Moor and access this safe to get the uh, data pad. We're going to take this data pad back to Burger Town and we're going to put it up inside the burger under the access denied screen. As you see, the data pad is red. We're going to jump out and run around. Now, this part's uh, kind of fun. You see the uh, Burger Town sign is going to be shooting out a bunch of little burger bombs. You can pick these bombs up and toss them. They're uh, pretty effective. Just be a little careful. They can put you down. Um, after this happens for a little while, you're going to see a countdown. And at the end of that countdown, the rocket that is inside the Burger Town burger sign is going to uh, go ahead and launch off. And you'll see here the countdown starts at 5, and when the countdown is over, that means we are almost completed with this Easter egg. As soon as that happens, go ahead, get back up into the big burger. You see the missile's gone. You're going to pick up that data pad, which is now green. And as you can also see, inside this burger is the upgrade machine that lets you upgrade from 20 to 25. All right, so this is pretty much it. We're going to run down here and take this green data pad and give it to Bubby. And from there, it's over. You've completed the Easter egg. The trophy's going to pop up here. And uh, this is it. You're done. Now, there's going to end up possible of a couple of ways. Bubby may just explode and drop some drops for you, and then it's done. Or you might get lucky like I did, and you're going to get to see Bubby run around with his little drive through microphone sign and beat the shit out of zombies relentlessly. Um, it's pretty awesome. He swats them around. He looks like he's got a big paddle there just beating the crap out of them. So anyway, this is the Meat is Murder Infection Easter Egg. Uh, like I said, look in the descriptions for any other videos that may help you find all the valve locations, all the possible meat locations and stuff like that. But thanks for watching. Uh, this is Easy Drummer. I'm going to get out of here. Peace out. Happy rate.